I want to welcome everyone to Kingdom 4. There's our opening pyro. We have a jam-packed night tonight with our partnership match. Ring the Bell Wrestling has two competitors coming in. We're live from Miami, Florida. Let's get the show on the road. Just a moment ago, this match is a Ring the Bell partnership uh, match. You know, we, we did this last year for the European Championship. This year it's for an undisclosed champion. Well, I don't even know if it's a championship opportunity. It's an undisclosed matchup uh, stipulation, to be honest. But we have Jonathan Reed making his way down to the aisle here at Kingdom 4. Of course, uh, the following contest this match is should be very ball, good. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 269 pounds, the legend, Jonathan Reed. Though uh, Ring the Bell and BPW are partnered, I'm not 100% familiar with both the men in this matchup as Dollars and it could be maybe dollars or hundreds are flying from the ceiling. Now we await his opponent, Adam White. And his opponent from the Virgin Islands, weighing in at 267 pounds, Adam White. We are always open to the idea of uh, shedding some light on anyone and everyone who is uh, is willing to come through. Adam White, not familiar with him either. Jonathan Reed, I have a little bit more familiarity with, uh, but Adam White, not so much personally. But the lights are shining bright today. And what I mean today, I really do. I mean, it's still daylight here in Miami, Florida. Starting the show really early. Now Adam White seems to be done with his insurance. He's ready for this matchup. Our screens seem to be having a little bit of a problem. Here we go. Reed kicks things off immediately with that snap German suplex. Again, undisclosed opportunity in this matchup, but nonetheless, both competitors are going to be fighting for a big opportunity whether it be for European, U.S., World, or Triple Crown, sorry. No matter what they're going for, it's a big opportunity for either man here as Jonathan gets the double leg sweep. And now a big spine buster. Punch to the face, misses as now he catches the leg and hits that windmill kick. Irish whip off the rope. Drop down. Go. Bigger punch to the stomach. And a bicycle knee strike to the face of Adam White. Just driving that shoulder into the elbow as the Irish whips him. Big double A spine buster again. Up on a roll up by Adam. Could that be it for this matchup? One. No. Stomps on the side, and now a kick to the base by Jonathan. C tries to pick him up. Back body drop by Adam. Now goes for a stomp. 
Snapmare takedown by Reed. Now goes for a head, but no, but an elbow to the face. Whoa, what was that? Again, an elbow to the face. Ducks to the clothesline. Irish whip into the corner. Reed now stomps on the back. Picks him up, but Adam with a European uppercut. Now goes for the jab. But no, Reed with a punch to the gut. Duck under the clothesline, into a clothesline of his own. Punch to the head. Irish whip into the buckle. Reversal. And a back elbow. Catches, sweeps the leg. Catches the boot. Dragons through leg whip. Duck under. Goes for the DT, but a reversal as he punches him in the chest or the stomach, sorry. Punch. Really winding up on these ones. And a second. And a third one to take him down. I don't think Adam's taking this match too seriously. Deadlift up into a powerbomb, and he's keeping a hold of him. One, two, kick out at two. Reed went to the outside, but Adam decided to taunt. Oh, referee should call it there. Blatant low blow by Jonathan Reed. Oh, rolling cutter. Referee goes for the count. One, two, kick out by Adam White. Telling him it's over. Reed with the shoulder block. And a second one shades of Roy Pierce here. Sends him over. Going for that double axe handle from the top. He's going to crowd him. He hits it. But yet again, that back elbow has become a thorn in his side. What is this? Fisherman. Oh, pump handle slam into a punch to the face. Oh, now Adams firing himself up. Punches. Irish whip. Reversal by Reed. Sends him off. Knee to the face. to the gut, back at elbow. Reed gets caught. Oh, flapjack. Wait a minute. What is Jonathan Reed thinking here? He's waiting for him to stand up. He's up. Goes for the crowd, but no. Punch to the torso. Takes him down again. Sweep this time again from Jonathan. Goes for a stomp. And he gets the better of them. We got to remember a 20 count on the outside. So this match could very well be a count out. But not in a, a good minute. What is this? Oh, Cutter on the floor. But he picks him up. And Jonathan Reed unaffected by that Cutter. Slap to the hand, boot to the gut. Catch is, oh, slapped directly to the face. We need this match to get back to the ring. And Jonathan Reed happily obliges. Goes to pick him up, but Adam of it in the face. But Reed this time out of the ring on his own. And a big chop down to the mat or to the floor, I guess. 
Shoulder tackle. Now picks him back up. What is he going to do? Oh, they're fighting for position here. Getting caught with that jab to the face. Now up and over. No into a DDT on the floor. Adam sends him in the ring. Could this be it for Jonathan Reed if he hits something here? Goes for a grapple, he hits. What is this? A big neck breaker, but swings him over. Oh, look at this, Muda lock. Reed could be tapping here. Yes, he does. Jonathan Reed taps out. Good action, and there we should have seen a DQ, but obviously the ref said whatever and just went for it anyways. But there you have it, your winner, Adam White, getting an undisclosed shot. whatever it might be, but nonetheless, which is women's tag team action for the women's tag titles. Here come the challengers for the women's tag title. The Wild Stallions, I guess that's a official. Kate Whitaker, Jaylee Kai. Guess, like I said, I guess it's official that they're calling themselves the Wild Stallions. Kate Whitaker, uh, not too unfamiliar with tag team titles. Obviously, she uh, held the v VWA tag championships with Candy Vega, swapping out the partner here for Jaylee Kai. Ironically enough, flip and flop. Remember and correct, VWA. Flip and fly, though. Only the third titles, obviously, Satoru sisters were the first. And Amber Reed held the titles with her partner. But Cynthia Wolf and Maria Attard. I'm sorry if I said the name wrongly. Uh, they've held the titles for a, a decent chunk of time now, winning them. And uh, I believe it was a match a few, a couple months ago maybe. Taking on, uh, I believe it was. Now I'm getting upset with myself because I can't remember on the spot. But nonetheless, they're the tag champs. They won the titles, and they've never defended the titles since winning them. So we'll see if this first defense will be successful or not. Tag Team K, Jaden K, on the way to the ring. Oh, JoJo's a little freaked out. K and Jaden K. All right, the that's wild okay. While wow, wow, they were doing intros there. I was checking to see who they defeated to K win the titles. Jaden Sophia Ross K and Anna Everett. Opponents. They are the women's champions. Cynthia Wolf and Maria the Trailblazers.
There you see it. Referee wearing uh, an unofficial uh, shirt. But here we go. Women's tag titles on the line. Kate Whitaker and Cynthia Wolf locking up center of the ring and Kate pushing her into the buckle. Kate gets shoved off. Now another collar and elbow. Overhead hammer lock and a sweep of the legs. Had a slight bit of lag on the on the monitor for a second, so uh, had to go off the the ring itself. Hopefully that doesn't continue to be an issue. Is Kate getting a cheap shot in on Cynthia? Cynthia with a nice shoulder breaker. Oh, she was taking a little bit of time to charge up that kick, and Kate used it to her advantage to throw her into the buckle. Nice side Russian leg sweep. Now Kate goes for something, but no, Cynthia reverses. Forearm attempted, no. Locking up on the outside, That's this is an aggressive matchup between the two of them, both hitting kicks there. Reversal, there's the form that she tried to hit earlier. Goes for it again, but gets reversed. Back and forth on the outside here. Really is back and forth. Cynthia goes to grab her, but shoves her off. And now we're heading up the ramp just a little bit. Kate finally getting the upper hand here as she's got her hammerlock rushing leg sweep in the back of her head, hit the ramp on that concrete section in between the ramp and the mat. This match needs to get back in the ring like as soon as possible here. Just repeatedly kicking her in the stomach. Kate is in love with that kick. Oh, wait a minute. German suplex, no, landing on her feet. Now Kate tries to send her inside the ring, but a little too short on the throw. Now she's in, and we're back finally. Going for the hot tag, but... Stopping on the elbow. Nelson attempted no Cynthia breaking out of the hold and a nice arm drag dragging Kate towards the corner as she tags out to Maria flip and fly the more established team they have a lot more uh, experience when it comes to teaming together so they may have that advantage in this matchup Boot to the face. And speaking of boots, there's a calf kick. But a jawbreaker from Maria to get Kate away for the moment. There's a nice swinging neck breaker. Beautiful as now Jaylee Kai has been tagged into the match. And she's caught with a hurricanrana. But she's back up. And Maria is fired up here. She's repeatedly kicking in the chest. Now dragging Jaylee away from the ropes to go for a cover. Hook of the leg. Referee way out of position. One. Only a one count. All goes for the boot, but Jaylee fighting away. There's a big cross body. But she's straight back up. What in the? Oh, nice cartwheel into the back elbow. Now from the middle rope, a 450 splash from the bottom rope. Sorry, I meant bottom. Boot to the gut. Shining wizard. Maria to the corner. What is this? Front flip, no. I thought that was going to be the front flip DDT, but she reversed it. Boot to the gut. Speaking of front flips, chiropractor. Pulls her away from the ropes to go for the cover, hook of the leg. 
one, two, kick out at two. Arm drag, Kai back up to her feet. This is the cross body as Maria leaping over. And that neck breaker. Maria might be thinking it's time to tag out. And she does exactly what Cynthia did, which was pull the opponent over to their corner so that they can have the advantage when she gets in the ring. And so far, it seems to be proving itself uh, truthful. Not the word I was looking for, but it's the word I got. Fireman carry takeover on the floor. Or now, Jaylee Kai. Oh, just threw her into the barricade. Oh, and again into that guardrail. Both of them missing their running attacks. Jaylee Kai getting a little bit worse for wear as she's now kicked straight down to the mat. Back and forth as now Cynthia. No. Time of the back elbow. And a knee to the face. Oh, slap to the back of the head. Now catches her. What is this? On the floor with the suplex. Now Cynthia, yet again, the person to get the match back in the ring. For the time being, at least. Now, oh, knees to the back. Now a scorpion death drop. This could be it for Jaylee Kai. Is she going to get hit with this? Oh, Saito suplex. Cynthia is trying to figure out what to do next. I don't know if she knows what's, what's going on. Blows on. And a second one. We're right in the corner here. Duck under super kick. Goes, no, I thought she was going for a cover. No, rolls her over. Oh, we're going to see a shiny wizard from Cynthia as well. She hits it. Picks her up. But the reversal from Jaylee Kai. Now Cynthia on the apron. Oh, breaks the eyes. But this is the grapple on the uh, second attempt. Reversal arm drag. Irish whip into the wrong corner. Back elbow by Jaylee. Nice punch to the face. Oh, kill switch engaged. A beautiful and prettier. With a cover hook of the leg. One, two, three. It's over. Wild Stallions picking up the win. Jaylee Kai and Kate Whitaker, new tag champs. The fight was taken to both teams here. Look at the Shining Wizard from Maria. Chiropractor from Jaylee Kai. And here's the Shining Wizard from Cynthia. Oh, I guess not. Unprettier for the win. There you have it. There you have it, the new tag team the champions. New women's tag team K and, and now we get K. on to our next matchup, which is Solid. for the X Division Championship. But let's give these two a little bit of a chance to celebrate their win. see it around the ring and dangling from the ceiling this is not an ordinary match this is a TLC match for the X Division Championship what in, what is this camera angle okay but here comes the X Division Champion Zach Quinn
Quinn lost the title to Dustin Weaver not too long ago, and the matchup was almost immediately made a few weeks later to have three, all three former, uh, well, all three X Division champs face each other, not former. So, uh, obviously, Ethan Walker is in this match as well, and Dustin Weaver, the current champion. No stranger to ladder matches, looks to make a big moment, make a big impact in Kingdom 4. And it's for the championship. So upon time, England, weighing in at 217 pounds, nice. young blood, Zach Quinn. This is, of course, one of two triple threat matches tonight. course now here comes Ethan Walker oh what the Ethan Walker decked out in body paint time for the Punisher to arrive and introducing and, uh, it looks the like uh, the Punisher's ready for a fight here tonight weighing in at 243 pounds the Punisher Ethan Walker Walker wants to get that X-Division championship back more than anything right now. Calling both the former champion, Zach Quinn, and the current champion, Dustin Weaver, fake champs, paper champs, if you will. Doesn't believe that either one of those men deserve to call themselves an X-Division champion. We'll see if he'll be able to hold up his end of the bargain here in this matchup. course Dustin Weaver current X Division champion not being able to make this this big entrance with the title and because of it being a ladder match but Dustin Worcester, Weaver no stranger to TLC matches Weighing ladder matches whatever you want to call it he's no stranger to those kind of matches he is competing in multiple ladder matches I believe at champion. Kingdom 2 he was in a ladder Dustin match Weaver. as well uh, here I'll just do a quick fact check because I have that ability Yeah, had a, a big fatal five-way ladder match at Kingdom 2. believe the winner got a Money in the Bank briefcase, which eventually, the eventual winner being Elijah Riley. There you see it, X Division Championship on the line. Here we go. Weaver and Quinn immediately walking face for, like face to face. They're matching gear tonight. Ethan Walker wisely going for the ladder while neither men are paying neither of the men are paying attention. He's gonna try to just win this matchup while they're not looking. They're a bit distracted on each other and now he's climbing the ladder, but Ethan not paying attention. Oh, straight to the mat. Snap suplex into the ropes by Ethan Walker. Quinn back up to his feet. Big super kick by Zach Quinn. Now sets his eyes back on Dustin. Kick to the leg, kick to the gut, stomps on the hand, and a kick to the lower back. Now Quinn needs to climb the ladder to stop Ethan from doing anything. Now smashes his face into the ladder and now shoves him off. Dustin gets on the ropes. This might be the quickest ladder match in VPW history. I really hope not. It might be. I'm going to be a little upset if that's the case. 
Oh, oh no, Ethan. Pushes ladder, Dustin catches him. Oh, wins for the punch, but no, Weaver. Boot, well, knee to the face. Overhand chop, misses. Sweep, no, kick to both of them. Now Ethan Walker goes back out of the ring. I think he was going for that table. But I think he may have thought better of it, or maybe the table is not even there anymore. What in the hell? Again, not focusing on the person in the ring, and it's very frustrating for me to see this. Ethan needs to get back in there to stop Zach Quinn again. Zach Quinn stopping before he even gets all the way up the ladder. He knows that time is running out if he does not get up there. What in the hell is happening? Repeated punches from Zach trying to knock him down. Both men are punching at, at Ethan and Zach is down, but so is Ethan as Dustin Weaver pulls him off the ladder. Misses the drop kick. Weaver up to his feet, up to his feet, sorry. German suplex from Ethan. Now Zach back in the ring. Oh, nice roundhouse goes for the boot. What is this? A jackknife powerbomb. Now Dustin back up to his feet. This might not be the prettiest match ever, but Ethan Walker not doing much of anything. He's just letting Dustin win. That's exactly what just happened. Dustin Weaver just won. That's unfortunate. Well, I mean, there you have it. Here is your a ladder match at Kingdom, but not, the, not that good at all. Dustin. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Women's Championship. Women's Championship on the line as Bad Amy makes her debut for the Kingdom pay-per-view. Ashley Rain, on the other hand, has had a match on, I believe, three of the four. She was in Kingdom 2 for the women's title. I believe she was the holder of the title at that point in time. Or, no, 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 Patricia Star. Sorry. Kingdom 3. She had a match, I believe, as well. Take, yeah, she fought Louise Bates at Kingdom 3 this year. Facing Bad Amy. Big pyro for me, and Amy is ready for this match. It's a big, big opportunity for Amy here. Currently, uh, her win-loss record is a whopping 2-0. and oh. That doesn't seem right, but the, the points is where it really comes into favor for her because she is in the lead currently with six points, more than anyone else on the entire show. Getting this opportunity by beating some of the top-ranking people in general. Once she, became, once she became the number one contender, things changed in the women's division. Obviously, uh, number two contender, Kiko Kishimoto, coming off of a big win where she won off a top rope diving savat kick. That was on the last episode of Legacy.
Nash Rain looking happier than ever to be at Kingdom 4 to defend this championship. She is one of two people to ever win that title three times. And tonight she could either retain the title and keep that or she might have to go for a fourth time. Now, I know Amy is ready for this match. She's been prepping and getting ready for this matchup for the weeks it's been since the match was announced. But I don't know if Ashley has that same preparation. I don't know if she's ready for Amy. These are two very different competitors. From Chicago, Illinois. Almost the same contrast from Last Kingdom, where um, Louise Ashley was so different. Ray. She was, at that point in time, she was just starting to change back into her old self. But this, this is a whole different thing. Louise was trying to do mind games. She was trying to get in the head of Ashley Rain. Amy doesn't seem to care about anything uh, when it comes to Ashley Rain except for that title. And I think she doesn't care if she's in the head of Ashley Rain or not. She's going to take her out one way or another. And I think that's how this one's going to go. We got 30 minutes on the clock. I think it's going to end with Amy on top, personally, as she's getting the go around and a waist lock from Ashley to get away from it. Nice takedown into a side headlock. Amy's starting to get up to her feet. Knee to the face from Ashley. Nice neck breaker there by Ashley Rain as Amy back up to her feet and kick to the leg, catches no. Punch from Amy, no, and a forearm by Ashley. And a face buster. There's a whole new breed of women's wrestlers in BPW as of right now. Ashley Rain really kicked stuff off for the women's division years ago. And when I say years ago, I don't really mean years ago. It was 2019 she came into the company. And uh, she was just a couple weeks off from being a part of Kingdom One. But this... This is a whole new set of female wrestlers in DPW. There's so much more talent in the division than there has ever been. And Amy has gone through as many of those, super, those women as she could before this matchup. Just fighting back and forth on the outside. Due to the gut goes under but no Ashley I can't see what's happening really because the camera work is not very great right now Amy sending Ashley back in the ring though oh kick to the head Irish whip into the corner from Amy now Ashley in a, a position she doesn't want to be in boot to the face up into a destino Kick to the top of the head from Amy. Clothesline sends her over the top. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of action on the outside as she gets a body scissors and whips her over. Elbow to the knee. Now Ashley this time sends her in the ring. Goes for the grapple, but Amy up and a knee to the face. Stops on the elbow. Now lifting her up. Kicks to the stu uh, the stomach. Uh, whatever I was trying to say. In a forearm to the side of the head. Nice arm drag. DDT from Ashley. Now sends her into the corner. Misses and Ashley goes chest first into that middle buckle. 
but up and over. Punch to the back of the head two, three times, four times, five times, six, and a forearm. And a second one. That one takes her down to the mat. Ashley with that rear chin lock now. She's got her grounded. That's all that matters to Ashley right now. She's in control. But how much longer will she stay in control? As now she's going up to the top rope, maybe thinking over the rainbow. As her foot's broken on the top rope for a second. No, double foot stop attempted, but a boot to the head as she went down. Now Irish whip into the corner from Amy. What is this? Amy sending her to the outside. She's lining up her shot. Oh, torpedo DDT on the floor. Sweeps the legs, and now again, after that DDT, she's going to do more damage on the floor. Rolls her up in a ball. Oh, and she kicked her where the sun don't shine. Nice arm drag, and goes for a hurricanrana, but Amy fighting her off, and Ashley trying to fight back with anything she can, but Amy sends her in. Forearm. Oh, there it is. Here's a big slice bread, but a boot to the top of the head. Reversal. Catches the fist. Forearm. Amy has her up. GTS. Wait a minute. Amy off the ropes. Oh, penalty kick to the head. Ashley is out of it. Amy. Struggles to get to the pinch. She's got it. One. Only a one count. Amy now in the corner, but as soon as she was getting ready to set up for that move, Ashley stood up. Misses the Kinshasa. Now in the corner. Oh, back elbow from Amy. But now again, we're set into the corner. Ashley Rain slice bread again. That could be it. One, two, Amy kicks out. Picking her up. Duck under and a clothesline from Amy. What a jawbreaker from Ashley. 23 minutes left on the timer. Ashley turns her around. Upside down crowd. It could be in here. Amy could be done for one, two. Amy just barely kicking out of it. Ashley Ring getting frustrated. Amy kicks her off. Double stop. Amy picks her up. There's a running knee to the face with a cover. Hook of the leg. Body press one, two. Amy not able to get the three count as Ashley kicks out. Oh, lion salt, but Ashley rolls out of the way and goes for a cover. One. Two, only a two count there. Catches her with the boot to the back. Picking her up, but Amy sweeps the leg. Wait a minute. Corner. Oh, she's giving a primal scream. Oh, no. Kinshasa. Rolls her over. Cover. One, two. Kick out at two. Amy waiting. Ashley Rain to stand up. Close line. And a second one. In the corner. And a big jumping close line. And now she's going off the ropes. Duck under the Larry attempt. Leaving close line. And she's fired up. 
Picking her up. There's the knee. No, Ashley with a cross body. Oh, but Amy with a nice hurt to run off on that. But a boot to the face for Ashley. Misses the Hurricanrana attempt again. Punch, no. Irish whip into the corner. Maybe we're going to see that slice bread. Back elbow from Amy. Here's the body scissors. Irish whip into the corner. Amy following her behind. No, back elbow from Ashley. Sends her into the corner. Face first. Back elbow again. Sends her into the opposite corner. Follows behind, but stops just ahead of the corner. And Ashley reverses. Back elbow again from Amy. Springboard. Oh, it misses the Savant. Ashley Reed. No. Oh, nice banger ring. Picking Ashley up, she's got an idea, but no, Ashley with the reversal, European uppercut, there's the Hurricanrana. Picking her up now, European uppercut from Amy. What is this? Oh, the GTS. No, Ashley fighting down, driving that elbow on the side of the head. Oh, now she's going to go into, oh, look at this, single leg Boston Crab. Amy crawling to the ropes. She is able to get out of the hold as Ashley just lets go. And Amy wisely to the outside. And I think Ashley's thinking about going to the top rope, but she can't bring herself to do it. Oh, pulls at the legs. Oh, baseball slide. Ashley right to the top. I think Amy hit her head on the, on the announce table on the way down. Ashley Ray from the top cross body, but no one catches her. Nobody was home for that cross body. Now tilt the world head scissors on the floor. Both are down. The exhaustion of this match has possibly just drained both of these competitors completely. Ashley doing a quick spin there. Now a big face buster on the floor. Now Amy's sending Ashley back in the ring. Punch in the back of the head, no. Oh, here's the slice bread, this could be it. That is it. One, two. Oh my God, she somehow kicked out. How she managed to kick out there, I don't know, but this is possibly, this right here could be it. Oh, what the, uh, what? Okay. Sunny side down, rolls her over, hook of the leg. One, two, three, it's over. Ashley Rain retains. What a matchup. Look at that Kinshasa. And now we got our next matchup as Ashley celebrates her successful defense. We got tag team action as the tag titles are defended. Cousins of Chaos versus Prestige. As I already said, tag team action. Tag titles on the line. Prestige looking to get their titles back as the big screen in the background is showing two of our rings for some reason. That's new. I've never seen that before. Nonetheless, these two really want to get these tag titles back. 
The Prestige wants the tag gold so badly that they have opted to swap the versions of their team that they're actually using this time around so that they could try to make the best of the situation and get the the OG tag team of Prestige back with the gold. If they do so, they will break another record of being the first ever five-time tag champs. They're already the first ever four-time. But will they be able to get the five-time? Cousins of Chaos, on the, other, on the other hand, don't really want to give up the title so quickly. Cousins of Chaos haven't even defended the title successfully yet. So this would be a big loss for them had they, uh, had they lost... Well, had they lose here tonight, whatever I was trying to say. Still coming off of that big women's title match that we just had. That was an amazing contest between two incredible competitors. But that's two years in a row that Ashley Rain has defeated her opponent at Kingdom. There you see the tag titles are on the line, as I said, uh, as it's already been said, and as it shows on the screen, all that. Jojo freaking out. She doesn't like tag team matches. We got two more matches after this one. So this one should be good. 20 minutes on the clock for a tag team match. So we'll see if the these competitors can get the job done within the time limit. Oh, Philip Sheffield drops. No, sorry, Matt Bailey. I'm sorry. It's been a while since Philip and Matt have been a team together in BPW, so it's a honest mistake. What a doctor bomb by Bailey. And now a big exploder suplex and Kit Buff. Far more on the on the mat. We're gonna have a little bit of action on the outside here. Count of 20 still on the outside, but 20 20 minutes is the max for tag matches because of the, the sheer length of these matches in most cases. Back and forth on the floor, Bailey getting the upper hand now. Oh, tried to go for that discus lariat and not able to hit it. Farmer kicked the leg, no. Eight. 
referee not being very clear with his counts. I cannot hear him. So, uh, I'm not sure what count we're at right now, but I don't think it's good. Face off the post. We're back in the ring now. Takes him down back to the mat. Big shoulder tackle on a second one. No. Back body drop by Jeremy. And a big spine buster. Now in the corner, what is he going to do here? Runs at him in a spear. One, only a one count. Drop kick attempted, no, Bailey out of the way. And speaking of spine busters, there's a double A. But Jeremy shoves him off. Could this be it for prestige here? Not even breaking 10 minutes and this could be over. One, two, kick out at two. Now Sean in the match. Bailey goes for a punch, but Sean with a punch of his own. Duck under and a clothesline. I don't think that was a duck under, but either way. To the gut. Now Matt turns him around. Sherman suplex to the big man. No, a rainmaker. Cover, hook of the leg. One, two, kick out at two. Now Matt, Matt Bailey tagging Philip Sheffield in. Philip in the ring for the first time in this match. Both of the competitors in the ring right now are relatively fresh to the match. Now Matt. Knocked off the apron by his own teammate as he chucked Sean. And Sean hits the steel steps on the way down there. Nice forearm for the face of Sean. Goes for the chop, but misses the chop. And Sean with a beautiful arm drag on the floor. There's the knife edge and a receipt. Sean goes for the hot tag, but Prestige having that entire, oh, never mind. Oh, drop toll sets him on the top rope and the middle rope but chokes him only on the middle rope. Philip Irish whip, no, sends him over the top rope onto the apron. Reversal by Philip, gets back in the ring. Shoving him off. Choke slam, no, kick to the gut. Look at Philip Sheffield with the strength. Oh, but Sean is straight back up to his feet. Oh, nice jab to the face. Or a hook, whatever you want to call it. I don't I couldn't really see how the punch was delivered, but an arm drag from Philip. Misses the axe handle. Look at that capture suplex. Could this be it? Up on the shoulders. No. Sean fighting out of it with the elbows to the side of the head. Boot to the gut. What is this? Power bomb. Pulls him away from the ropes. No chance of a rope break here. One, two, three. It's over.
Matt Bailey was holding his own in this matchup. I, I, I could almost argue that being Philip Sheffield was the weak link here in this matchup. Cousins of Chaos, though, still the tag team champions. And now we uh, we let them celebrate as we get on to our next matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. Main event here tonight. Brandon Alexander making his way to the ring and his uh his mentor, if you will, or not mentor. I wouldn't even say mentor because that'd be the wrong word. Uh, basically. His uh, his new manager, his advocate, if you will, Jacob Wells, coming down the ring with him. Now, last time Wells was at the ring with him, nothing really happened. Wells didn't get involved, and Byron X12 did defeat Brandon Alexander. But tonight is a different story. This is the Intercontinental Championship, a title Brandon Alexander is yet to hold. Brandon has held a world title, a tag title, and that is it. Tonight, if he wins, he's a triple crown champ. Something that Jacob Wells was the first to do with, with Justice Stone, of course. They both became triple crown champs at the exact same time, both winning the tag titles together. Adrian Black, though not going to give up the title as easy as you would think of course it, it can't be said enough how he just dominated the television title picture when he held the title how dominant he was in that match against Joe Blade when he won the world title and now with the the IC title sorry he's going to hold that title as long as he wants and if Brandon Alexander somehow defeats him here even with even without help from Jacob Wells, that would be a feat of it in of itself. Whatever the phrase is, I was trying to get it, but I think I messed it up. Either way. In it of itself. Introducing the challenger from Arkham, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 230. But this is a very different Brandon, Brandon Alexander going into this IC title match. Introducing the champion from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 100. Adrian Black looks across the ring at Brandon Alexander and he doesn't the recognize the guy that he's facing right now. The future Adrian Black. But I don't think he cares as he stares at Brandon Alexander the entire time he held that title up in the air. Hasn't taken his eyes off Brandon this entire time except for just now. Here we go. There you see the title. And now we're going to kick things off. These two look ready for this match. 30 minutes on the timer. 20 minute count out. Well, not 20 minute count out. Sorry. 20 count on the outside. 30 minute timer. And Brandon sends him into the buckle. And he's just holding him in there. I think we're going to get a clean break here, of course. Brandon might be changed, but he still has a little bit of respect. But this time in the under the ropes. Will we see the same respect shown from Adrian? No, we won't. Adrian Black, first to show disrespect in this match. I think it's all, all bets are off now for Brandon. There's the neck breaker. There's another lockup, and now Brandon getting a headlock and a nice hip toss. 
Whoa, gets out of the way of the TNA kick. Irish whip into the ropes. Goes for the belly to belly. No, punches to the head. Now Brandon, oh, punches to the gut of Adrian Black. He's now, oh, big elbow strike to the face. Look at the forearm. Brandon now turns him around. Irish whip into the buckle. Knee to the face. Look at this, just stomping on the chest of Adrian Black. Oh, that's, okay, the disrespect from Adrian really sent Brandon off. He just flipped him off. If that's not disrespect from Brandon, I don't know what is, but in his defense here, to play devil's advocate, Adrian Black started it with that slap to the face earlier, and now that DDT from Brandon. Misses the kick, there's the back elbow. Sends him in. Reversal from Adrian, now Brandon in the corner. And look at this, pulling at the shoulder and trying to you know, pull that shoulder out of the socket. Misses the knee. Brandon misses the enziguri and a kick to the stomach, but catches the kick the second time and a dragon screw leg whip. And Adrian with one of his own. And Brandon said, if you say anything you can do, I can do better. As he hits it for a second time. Adrian now in the corner. But Brandon with an overhand chop sets him on the top buckle. But a kick to the face takes him off the buckle. Getting himself out of harm's way, but Brandon with a forearm. Opting not the springboard, just a jab to the face. There's the elbow again to the face. Kick to the top of the head from Adrian. Calf kick by Adrian as well. Picks Brandon up. And do a nice swinging neck breaker. That was a, a beautiful move with the cover one. Jacob Wells not really getting involved on the outside. Goes for a waist lock, but Adrian back elbows out of the hold. Brandon boot to the gut. There's a flat liner by Adrian. Nice jawbreaker by Brandon. Misses the elbow this time. Punch to the face. Irish whip into the ropes. Goes for that belly to belly again, but this time a headbutt to break out of it. Boot to the gut from Brandon. Duck under. Close line from Adrian Black. Taking Brandon Alexander up. European uppercut from Brandon. Up on the shoulders. And a nice stun gun on the middle rope. Oh, not middle rope, sorry, top rope. As now Adrian with that hurricanrana, and now he's calling for Brandon to get up to his feet. We could see that that comeback that we've seen so many times. Yes, we are. There's the ends of Gurry to the top of the head. Brandon in the buckle, but he catches his uh, catches the boot and sets him in himself. But Adrian not going down without a fight. We're going back and forth in this corner. Adrian with the back elbow. Catch it. We're going to see the power bomb. Yes, Brandon has been hit with that move so many times in his career. Could this be it for Brandon Alexander? Super kick to the knee. Last shot. Cover him. One, two. Brandon kicks out at two. Jacob Wells, yet again, not getting involved. I think this is a respect thing. Brandon Alexander getting out of the way of that double foot stop, kicks him in the head. Oh, knee to the back. Now Brandon, what is he thinking here? Going to the middle rope. Telling him to get up on his feet. What is this? Brandon from the middle. Elbow drop. That was weird. Sends him in the buckle, but Brandon gets out of the way. For him to the stomach. Goes to turn him around. Brandon with a brain buster to Brandon Alexander. Picking him up, but a sweep of the leg from Alexander. Now he's calling him to get up. What has Brandon got in mind? What an 
Alec, Brandon Alexander, one wing angel, hooks the legs. One, two, kick out from Adrian Black. Nice clothesline. Atomic drop and keeps a hold of the legs. Leg drop, followed up by the drop kick. Now he's going to the, oh, wait a minute, what is this? Alexander. Buzzsaw kick. Rolls him over. One, two. Oh, arguing with the referee, saying that was three. And again, he's going for that one wing angel. That could be the difference maker in this matchup. Has him up on the shoulders. Adrian, he's done for. No, Hercarada. Adrian Black. Has his eyes set on that last shot again. There he hits the knee to the face. Cover, hook of the leg. One, two, three, it's over. Brandon Alexander unable to win the matchup with that one wing angel as, as he got caught off guard. We won't be seeing it here in the replays, probably not. But here's the one-way angel he did first. I thought it was over there, but of course it wasn't. There's a buzzsaw kick that could have been the end of the match, but it wasn't. Of course, the replay doesn't show the reversal into that last shot. Adrian Black, still your Intercontinental Champion, and Jacob Wells is frustrated on the outside. His he doesn't know what to think here, but we're going to go on to our main event now. Main event time, the VPW World Championship is on the line. Ace Reeves, the man who secured this matchup by shenanigans, very elaborate shenanigans if I would say so myself as a took him, Brandon Alexander, and the Avenged to coerce Morgan Wolf and Jay Charlson into this, into a ladder match so that they could steal the championship opportunity from Morgan Wolf and give it to Ace Reeves. Ace Reeves does not know what it's, this is the first ever time for him on Kingdom. And what I meant, what I was trying to say when he doesn't know is he doesn't know the feeling of a main event of Kingdom until now. Of course, Roy Pierce. This is not his first time in a main event of Kingdom. His first time was at Kingdom 1. Facing Jacob Wells in that Hell in a Cell submission only match. A little too much. Uh, losing that time. Will he lose tonight? But Ace Reeves, will he be walking out with the title? Or will Amber Reed still be the champion by the end of this matchup? Only time will tell for this matchup, but I'm extremely invested and extremely interested to see how this one goes. And introducing the challenger from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 246 pounds. Roy Pierce, Roy former Pierce. Intercontinental Champion, former World Champion. The only title he has yet to win is a tag title. He has done almost everything you can do in VPW. He's won a Rumble match. He's won it. He's won World and Intercontinental. And I already said it, but like he's done almost everything you can do, except win a match in the main event of Kingdom.
course. Uh, Kingdom Kingdom One bought Jacob Wells. Like I said, I believe he was off the card for Kingdom Two. By the time that that show had happened, he was already gone, taking some time off to uh, recover from an injury. But there you see your world champion, Amber Reed. And introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 180 yeah, Roy pounds. Pierce, he is completely the absent from world Kingdom two champion, and three. Ace Amber Reed. Amber Reed made her Kingdom debut at Kingdom Two in that five person women's championship match. But her last match last year, she was a, in a losing effort. This year, she's the world champion. So I think things went well for her in, com in comparison to what happened last year. There you see the title as the referee holds it up. This could be one for the ages. Our main event here. As Ace goes after Amber and Roy, allowing them to just do battle here. Because now, this time, Amber gets caught by Roy. Back and forth. Now a German suplex by Pierce to Amber. The spear attempt, but no. Ace reverses. Kick to the back attempt, and no. Clothesline to the back of the head. The spear to Reed. Pierce maintaining control here tonight. But only temporary as now they're uh, working together to take Pierce down. Catches the boot as with that round roll with the elbow. And then now, kick, punch, no. Amber on the middle rope going for that tornado DDT. No tornado guillotine. Ace Reeves on the outside. Kick to the face, chop, no. Wait a minute, Roy's doing something in the ring here. What is this? He's in the ring now. What the hell? Oh, he's dumped thumbtacks in the ring. The referee had to stop the match briefly there as uh, our foot or cut, like our cameras just cut out for a second there. I mean, in post, you're not going to notice any difference, but our cameras cut off, and during, well, right before the cameras cut off, Roy Pierce went outside of the ring. Oh, German suplex on top of Pierce. 
but as the camera was cut out, Roy was already outside. He cut oh he cut the the ring mat off and dumped thumbtacks in the ring. We got our camera back as he was dumping the thumbtacks in the ring. Oh, Amber back first onto the thumbtacks. I really hope that uh, the footage going out there doesn't really mess with the quality of the matchup too much. But nonetheless, Amber with a dragon screw onto that wood. Again, there's a pile, a large, large pile of thumbtacks on the floor there. or on the mat. And Amber neck first on that wood. The exposed wood of the ring. Oh, Hercarana narrowly avoiding the thumbtacks when he landed on the ropes there. And Roy, knee to the face. He's on those tacks, but not, it doesn't really change the fact that he was, he was just rolled slightly onto them. He's not in too much pain. Hercarana, remember that, that's an exposed ring mat. There's no padding there anymore at all, nothing. So any sort of landing on that ring is going to hurt 10 times more. And Roy Pierce knew that. That's why he exposed the mat. He exposed the wood, and then he dumped thumbtacks in the ring as well. Big forearm by Ace. But Amber stomping Sherman suplex. And now Roy rolls him over, goes for a pin, but Amber breaks it up. Punch to the face. Now Roy caught with a knee. This is the knee of hers. Oh, misses another knee and a German suplex. Oh, almost into the thumbtacks. Dragon suplex onto the wood. Oh, no, this time. Amber said it is a thumbtacks. Look at her just grabbing at her back, landing on those little tiny pieces of steel. Tiny pieces of steel, but in a large pile. She is hands first on those thumbtacks. Look at her, she's trying to adjust herself as she hit those thumbtacks. That has got to be a brutal, brutal thing to deal with as now Ace sends her into the tags for a second time. She's rolling out of the ring. Ace back hand, sending Roy into the buckle. What has he got in mind here? Turns him around, no back elbow for Pierce. Oh, up and over goes Ace. Double knees, and I think he might have caught the edge of that pile there. It's very dangerous. Amber just slides into the ring onto those thumbtacks, and she immediately checks her hands. There's the knee to the face. And an attempt. There's a flatliner with the cover. One, two, kick out from Pierce. No, Pier sorry, Reeves. He gets Reeves. There's a shoulder breaker by Reeves. There's a black mask kick. Wait a minute. Ace tried to go outside of the outside of the ring, but Pierce went for a pin. He had to break it up. Reversal. Boot to the gut. Well, the knee. Sorry. Hercarada. Oh, just barely, barely misses the thumbtacks. Now it's just Ace and Amber in the ring. As I was trying to say at the beginning of the match, though, just to clarify, the referee had to stop and restart the match briefly because of a, a little bit of a power surge that cut our cameras off right after Roy uh, cut open the mat and the th added the thumbtacks to the ring. Maybe there was something under the ring that was uh, camera related that he might have accidentally unhooked, but they got that fixed. Hopefully, like I said, it doesn't cause too much of a problem. Chop to the chest and a second one, no. Back and forth on the floor, but this is a triple threat. There's no count outs whatsoever here. Amber back to the ring, ace on the floor as Roy kicks her in the face. Spear, oh, stomach first on the thumbtacks. And a sling blade goes for a cover. She's pressing him onto those thumbtacks, and the referee's hand is just ruined. Knee to the face. 
Now Ace Reeves jumping in the ring, waiting for a moment here to strike. And something happened there, but I'm not exactly sure. Pierce in the corner. There's the rocket kick, but he got the worst of it as he goes back first into those thumbtacks. One, two, kick out from Reeves. Getting up to his feet. Big forearm to the face. Oh, sends him onto the exposed wood. Reversal of the chop rolls out of the way. Nice tilt to whirl into the head scissors. On the exposed wood. Now Ace Reeves to the top. Hude Groff. No. Super kick to the back of the head of Ace Reeves as a, as a chop block takes down Pierce or takes down Amber at the same time. Drop kick and a second one. Now into the neck breaker on the thumbtacks. His head hit the thumbtacks. Oh, nice roundhouse kick. Wait a minute. What is Ace Reeves thinking? Ace Reeves is going under the ring. He's got a table. He's walking around the ring to try to put it in, the, in there. He's got the table in the ring, but will he be able to use it? He's really want, he really wants to. Oh, he's changed his mind as he sees Amber out of the corner of his eye. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Catches the forearm. Boot, no. Oh, attitude adjustment, but oh, they're tied up together. Ace is stuck at the ropes. Cover. One, two, kick out by Reeves. Back elbow from Amber. No, the knee is missing. Misses the knee again. Boot to the gut. Chiropractor. Backstabber. Cover. Shoves her face into the tags. One. Setting his sights on that table yet again. Putting it in the corner. We already have enough exposed wood as it is. Ace kicks. Roy Pierce in the face. Cover, hook of the leg. One, two, kick out at two. Kicks Roy in the back, but Roy back up to his feet. Kick to the gut. Reversal. But Amber with a straight jacket German suplex on, on Ace. Ball sweeps the leg, rolls her over into an STF. That could be it. Tap her out. This could be your main event. No, she's fighting out of it. Back elbow to Pierce. And a forearm by Pierce. He stands across the ring, trying to stay out of harm's way. And he gets almost caught with that punch to the face. Dragon suplex to Roy. Ace gets a hold of Amber. What is he going to do here? Absolutely nothing as he shoves her off. Neck breaker. Amber's calling for the for the end of this matchup is now picking up Roy Pierce. Clothesline. And a second one. Ducks under the lariat. And now sends him in the buckle with a nice integrity. Oh, what is this? So, oh my god, not on the thumbtacks, Panama Sunrise Canadian Destroyer on the tacks. One, two, three, oh. How that, how that was not it, I don't know. Oh, drop kick and nothing. Oh, misses the flatliner. Misses the knee. What is happening? I'm so confused. A set over the top rope by Amber now. What is this? Reverse DDT into the tags. Amber sends her. No. 
Reversal. Pierce reverses the grapple attempt. And now, Amber. Attitude adjustment on the thumbtacks. One, two, three. Roy Pierce picking up the win with an attitude adjustment onto the thumbtacks. Those tacks came into great use tonight. What a matchup, and look at that. That was a, a tie turner there. Roy Pierce, two-time world, world champion. champion, Roy Pierce. Good for him. But let's get on with the, the credits and all that, if you want to say. Thank you to anyone who has participated in this show. Thank you to our partners, Ring the Bell Wrestling. And most importantly, thanks for watching. That was Kingdom 4. Hope you enjoyed.